Hello neighbors, uh, as I was going through my video archives, I saw this uh, uh, video which I captured this summer and uh, it's one of my favorite videos where my wife asked me to go pick some uh, locots from our front yard, which is, you know, this sour, sweet and sour fruits uh, that we have the trees for. So when I went to uh, grab the locot, I noticed that I wasn't alone, uh, you know. I wasn't the only person uh, picking up fruits. There was this raccoon who was also eating fruits up on the very top section of the tree. So obviously I'm gonna I'm not gonna you know harm the raccoon. I let it you know have its mealing session, but I took my camera and shot this video to see how uh, you know cleverly it was climbing up and down the tree and uh, yeah, was helping itself. I thought I should share it with you guys. Thank you. Let's see. I heard a noise in the tree. So I grabbed my camera. And look what we have. Look what we have. We have a raccoon. Holding on to the branches. Up on the top. And helping itself. With the sweet and sour fruits. Known as locots. Now, I wanted to catch this raccoon on camera because it's so interesting. But at the same time, I didn't want to, you know, shake the tree or get too close to scare it off. I mean, the poor thing has to eat. Just like all of us, he is struggling for survival. So, I'm trying to get a good, uh, like a good shot, a good angle, camera angle, without, you know, interfering with its mealing session or feeding session I should say the tree in front of us which has shed all its leaves is the fig tree and uh, strangely enough when the locusts are blooming with fruits the sh uh, fig trees are leafless because they operate in a completely different season so yeah look at that raccoon look at that raccoon that is so interesting and you know what's even more interesting what's even more interesting is that how it can climb up all the way in those skinny branches my god those branches are so small and skinny i mean those branches are so narrow it could it could i'm gonna turn off the light to let it look the other way because it's looking at the illumination and see what's going on there it is there it is let me zoom in let me zoom into that oh wow look at that there is this when you zoom in you lo lose the image let me see if I can capture it from a different angle where is he? Hey. he's right there yeah, you get coming down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's see. <laughs> There's a raccoon. He's trying to get down. The raccoon is trying to get down. The raccoons are usually you know, feeding in groups. I don't know why this fellow is alone. I think I'm gonna go further away because maybe it's trying to get down and it's probably scared of us. I'm gonna go further away. Oh, I heard something. Let's see. Oh my God, did you look at that moth? That moth is nearly as big as a uh, you know bat nearly as big as a bat god this time of a year there are all kinds of moths I mean Jesus they're like the size of an airplane for heaven's sakes and when you have a big light in front of your cameras all the moths are attracted to that so you get all kinds of there the, there, the, the raccoon's coming down the raccoon's coming down look at that it's climbing down. 
There he is. Right there, it's climbing down. My god, they're such acrobats. Look at that. Look at that. Look how it's coming down. It's very difficult to come down facing down. Look, look, look. It's walking on the fence. Are you serious? Oh my god, look at that. I mean, this thing can walk on the fence better than a circus acrobat. Look at that. It disappeared in thin air. It's gone. It's, it's gone. Raccoon's gone. Just like things aren't spooky enough. Look at this. <laughs> Just as if they're not spooky enough. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you liked it, you may subscribe and my YouTube channel to get notifications of each additional video. Thank you.